I'm now going to show you how to fit a wall and floor doorstop. By fitting a doorstop in time, you can save yourself having to replace the handle or patch and repaint the wall. Here's what we need to do the job. A cordless screwdriver, a doorstop, a screw, and a pencil. Now I'm going to fit a wall mounted doorstop. Just before we fit it, we'll just make sure the doorstop is long enough and the handle doesn't hit the wall. Place the doorstop again the saddleboard. That's lovely. So now we'll just mark the doorstop on this curtain. This particular doorstop unscrews from the back. By unscrewing the back of it and then sliding the screw through the hole and then by using a cordless screwdriver, get in position with the screw, hold it to the mark on the skirting board and screw. Then simply take the other part of the doorstop and screw it on your base plate. There you go, quick test, doorstop fitted, as simple as that. Now I'm going to show you how to fit a floor mounted doorstop. It's as simple as this. Open your door, make sure your handle isn't hitting the wall, mark the floor with a pencil. If it's carpet, put a little bit of masking tape and mark the masking tape. Once you've marked your floor, it's time to fit the doorstop. This particular doorstop has a base plate. Unscrew the base plate and you'll see the hole in the middle of your base plate. Place the base plate at the inside of the line and use a cordless screwdriver to screw down. Always remember not to use too big a screw. You don't want to go into a pipe or anything else under the floor. Once the base plate is in place, all we have to do is screw on the top. And just to test it, There you go, that's how you fit a wall and floor doorstop, as easy as that. For more helpful hints and tips, go to woodiesdiy.com.